In this video, we are going to see how to add Instagram media details to Notion database. So let's say that you're using Instagram and here every time you create a new post, then you want that automatically it should be created as an item in Notion, which is a note taking software. Now here to do so, you have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using public connect software. Here your trigger application would be Instagram and your action application would be Notion. Now how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm already an account user here, so I'm going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as we do that here, we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see the tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to add Instagram media details to Notion database, which means that every time a new post is posted on Instagram, then automatically the details should be posted on Notion database. So now I'm going to click on create. So here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here my objective is that every time a new media is posted on Instagram, then it should be captured on Notion database. Now Notion is a note taking software platform designed to help members of companies or organizations manage their knowledge for greater efficiency and productivity. So I'm going to choose my trigger application here as Instagram for business and the trigger event. So here it would be new media posted in my account. Now here you can see that it is written that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which means that this application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So this workflow is going to run after every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Now here it is saying that please connect your Instagram business account and select your Instagram business account. Then click on save and send test request. So first I'm going to click on connect. And here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Instagram account. So for this, I'm going to choose add new connection and then connect with Instagram for business. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Pabli Connect is now connected with Instagram for business. Now here we have to choose the Instagram account to use. And here I'm choosing this, the same account. Now let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the API response. This is the username. This is the owner ID. If I take you down here, you can see that this is the caption of my Instagram post. So let me first show you the Instagram account and the post that I have just posted. So this is my Instagram account. And this is the post that I have just posted, which says success has no shortcut. This is the media file. So taking you back to Pabli Connect, here we have got the details. And this is the timestamp, which means the time at which this particular post was posted. Now, what is my objective? My objective is that every time this media is posted, then automatically the details should be captured on Notion database. So let me show you the Notion database. So this is my Notion dashboard and here we have got different team spaces and within this team space, we have got multiple pages. Now I already have created a page. The name is Instagram post details. And here I have the following column fields, post title, date, the URL. And here I'm going to add another column field, which is permalink. So these are the columns that I have already created. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and this time the action application would be Notion. Here it is. Let's click on this. And the action event would be create database item. Let's click on connect. Again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Notion account. 
To do this, we are going to click on add new connection, then connect with Notion. Once we have done that, here we have to select pages. Now, these are the various pages. So basically, I'm going to select general category. So my page has been created under general team space. So I'm going to select all the pages and now click on allow access. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now we have to map the following information. Mapping basically means that I have already received this information in the previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it here. Now, how do we do it? So here, first of all, I have to select the database. So see the name has already been captured. Otherwise, you could have clicked on this drop down and selected from here. Then the URL. So how do we map? If I click on this, so it will show me the previous step. I'll go here and then I'm going to look for the URL. Here it is. Let's click on this. So basically, this is how you map. And now why is mapping important? Because as of now, I have mapped this information. So every time this workflow runs and it captures the new data, so the new data will be inculcated here. But if I write this manually, then even when I have got new data, it will not take the new data into consideration. It will only take the manually written data and the workflow will not be a success. Now we have to map the date. But here we have received the date in timestamp format. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to add an action step, which is a feature by Pavli date time formatter. Now the action event here would be to format date only. Let's click on connect. Now I'm going to map the date that I wish to change the format of here it is. So what is the from format here? You can see that the from format is the same. Now the two format here would be, let's say I want it in date, month and year, this format. Let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received the date in the desired format. Now I'm going to go down. I'm just going to refresh this connection once. And as I take you down here, I'm going to map the date. So let's go to step two and this is the date. Now the permalink. So I'm going to again go to step one and this is the permalink. Next, we have the post title. Let's go to step one and here we can see success has no shortcut. Next is content. So I'm just going to leave this blank. You can, you know, write the content if you wish to. I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received the API response. So created time, edited time and all the other data is here. So now I need to check my Notion database if I have received this information there. And yes, you can see this is the post title, then the date, URL and the permalink, which basically means that this integration process is a success. But I also need to check this in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Instagram account and here I'm going to create another post. Select from computer. Let's say this. OK. And this is the ratio that I wish. Let's click on next again. Yeah. So let's say the caption is green is the need of the hour. And here you want you can add emojis, location, etc. Let's click on share. Here you can see that your post has been shared. I'm going to close this window. Here you can see that our post is right here in front of us. Basically, the moment this post has been posted, what should happen automatically, the information about this post should be posted on Notion. But we also know that there is a polling time of 10 minutes. So now we are supposed to wait for the next 10 minutes so that this information can become a part of our Notion database. So it's been 10 minutes and let's quickly go back to our Notion database. And yes, here you can see green is the need of the hour. This is the date. This is the URL and the permalink, which basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand the entire process. So our trigger application was Instagram for business where the event was new media posted in my account. Then we had chosen a feature by Pabli date time formatter to format the date. And then our action application was Notion where the event was create database item. I hope this is extremely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us.
not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.